Hey again guys and welcome back. This is an 18650 cell lithium ion battery and these are 18650 holders. So these batteries go right in there and then these specifically are made to go inside circuit boards but you can fold this up and uh, solder wires to them just like I've done here. So this is a TP4056 charger with protection and you put a lithium ion cell in there and everything is good. Or is it? What happens if you want to put three of these together? Well, these things are not that expensive, but they're also not that cheap. They're about 50 cents to a dollar each. If you have a 3D printer, however, you can make something very similar for a fraction of the cost. These are battery boxes from user Pixel on uh, thingiverse.com and Pixel not only made them in you know one to even six 18650s, uh, they also made them in one to six double A batteries, which is pretty neat. So you can either make these little TP4056 uh, chargers like this, or you can make whole battery banks if you want. Now these things work very simply. Uh, you just run wire around these little holes here and you spin it around, you, you twist it around these spring contacts and the wire actually becomes your contact. So your battery will make good contact and that spring will also hold your battery in. I mean, this isn't going anywhere. It's not super solid, but I'm sure you can adjust the tolerances, maybe shrink this by 0.5%, and this thing will be jammed in there tight. But you know what? It doesn't come out by itself either. So these things are something really cool for you to check out if you've got a 3D printer. So yeah, these battery boxes are super easy to put together and easily customized to any length. Um, just the, the thing I'll tell you is leave yourself a lot of wire where you're going to be wrapping um, because you can go with as many wraps as you want pretty much and um, it's also easier with a longer length of wire. You know, also if you're patient you can have, you know, not these loops here sticking out but, um, you know, in most cases it's fine anyways. So the last thing I would recommend doing is writing down the polarity because these boxes are polarity agnostic. So just make sure you have them properly labeled for the way it's going to be on yours. So this is a three in series pack. And so, yeah, these will go in here and these will give you a, a 12 volt battery. So there's one positive on this side and then positive on this side. And now from here to here, we have a 12 volt battery pack. So yeah, hope you like this little quick tip. Um, go on the Thingiverse link in the description below. Go check these out. These are a great addition to anybody's collection. And as you can see, I don't want these two to short out, but they're pretty solid. And if not, you can just put a rubber band around it and that'll be just fine. Thanks for watching.